Look at that keyboard size. I can't even see <laughs> this virtual keyboard doesn't even let me see the screen. So just check how beautiful it looks. It just looks amazing. You're basically getting like a super modern look, still having a very stable and reliable system. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking Linux Mint, one of the easiest and most beginner friendly distros, and we're giving it a plasma powered makeover. That's right, I'm going to show you how to install KDE Plasma Desktop on Linux Mint Cinnamon step by step. By the end of this video, you'll have a beautiful Mint plus Plasma hybrid system. And we'll also talk about whether it's actually worth doing. So let's dive right in. Now, before we start installing anything, let's talk about why you might want to do this. Well, Linux Mint Cinnamon is famous for being simple, stable, and Windows-like, perfect for beginners. But Cinnamon, while elegant, is also a bit limited in customization compared to Plasma. KDE Plasma, on the other hand, is like the Swiss knife of desktops. You can tweak everything, from window behavior, themes, animations, widgets, you name it. So if you love Mint's reliability and Ubuntu's base, but you crave for freedom and polish of KDE, combining the two could give you the best of both worlds. Of course, it's not officially supported by the Mint's team, but that's what makes it fun, right? First, make sure your system is up to date. Open your terminal and run sudo apt update to ampersand science sudo apt upgrade. Press enter, enter your password, press enter. Let it update and upgrade your system. I'll put all the commands in the description, so if you need them, you can simply copy and paste them into the terminal. Press Y, press Enter. I'm just gonna fast forward the update process. Once everything updated, it's a good idea to reboot before installing Plasma, especially if there were kernel or system updates. Now we're ready for the main part. To install the Plasma desktop, there are a couple of options. You can just install the desktop environment or go for the full KDE suite with all the apps like Dolphin, Console, Kwin, etc. If you just want the basic Plasma desktop, you need to run this command. sudo apt install kde-plasma-desktop. This will install a lightweight version with just the essentials. But if you want the full experience including KDE apps, themes and utilities, you need to use this command sudo apt install kd full and that's what i'm gonna do and as you can see it says after this operation 3398 megabyte of additional disk space will be used so that's quite a lot but yes we'll press yes depending on your internet speed this might take a while so grab a coffee while it installs of course i'm just gonna fast forward it during the installation you might be asked to choose the display manager light dm or sddm KDE works the best with SDDM, so go ahead and select that when prompted. Once everything's installed, go ahead and reboot your system. Okay, so if you get in this funny looking blue from 1990 style login screen, don't be scared, that's completely normal and it's totally fixable. This is actually the default SDDM theme, the simple desktop display manager that KDE uses when installed over another desktop like Cinnamon. It looks bad because Mint doesn't apply any KDE theming by default. So you get in the plain fallback SDDM theme, basically a test pattern for the login manager. Let's go ahead and fix that now. We need to simply log in. Look at that keyboard size. I can't even see. <laughs> this virtual keyboard doesn't even let me see the screens. Just type in your username and your password. Then over here at the session, make sure to select Plasma X11. As you can see, there is still Cinnamon desktop you can choose. Then there is Cinnamon software rendering, Plasma X11 and Cinnamon on Wayland. So we're going to choose Plasma X11 and press login. There we go. KD Plasma on Linux Mint Cinnamon. Let's go ahead and make this display a bit bigger. Go to the display settings and look at that. I can global scale it just by increments of 25%. Unlike in Cinnamon, I can only go 200% or 100%, which is not 
usually convenient because 200 is too big and 100 is too small. So like 150 would probably be the best. But here you can go all the way up to 300 through the system settings, which is super convenient. You can change the orientation. You can even do it upside down. I think that's helpful if you probably mount it from the ceiling, but usually you don't need the upside down. Anyway, let's try it 200% and then I'd click apply. But for this to take effect, I need to log out. So let's go ahead and log out now. Check how beautiful it looks. It just looks amazing. You're basically getting like a super modern look, still having a very stable and reliable system. Let's go ahead and log in. Isn't it looking great? And check this out. That looks awesome. So I have made this a bit bigger. As you can see, it looks much larger. And actually the display configuration is set at 200%. Let's go to the system settings, then go to the startup and shutdown, then go to the login screen SDDM and choose get new SDDM themes. So here you can choose different SDDM themes, whatever you like. You can see there is a rating of each theme. So some of them might be better, some of them might be worse. So just try to find the one that you like. There's probably going to be hundreds of different ones. Uh, let's just choose by rating the highest rated ones. I think that's going to be great. And look at that. So this one here got the nine stars out of 10. I guess lots of people like this old school, like Windows style from early 2000 or 1990s. Yeah, I still get the 7.8 stars. Anyway, I will choose this sugar candy i like it so let's just click install then of course you need to enter your password and we can close this so let's just click on it and click apply and enter your password again all right we're all done let's go ahead and log out and see how it's gonna look so just click log out and check this out i don't know why would anybody want to use mac os or windows while Linux is absolutely free and you get in this nice, cool looking login screen, all the apps, check this out. This is your username, your password. You can switch sessions here. Check this out. So all your sessions here, that just looks great. Yeah, let's go ahead and log in and voila, we're back to our Linux Mint. And welcome to your new KDE desktop running right on top of Linux Mint. Now this is where KDE shines. You can right click the panel, add widgets, reposition elements and explore massive customization options inside system settings. Want a floating panel? Done. Want a macOS style global menu bar? You can do that too. And don't forget to check out KDE store where you can grab hundreds of widgets icon themes and window decorations. If Cinnamon feels clean and simple, Plasma feels like a full-on creative playground. You can literally rearrange almost everything, widgets, panels, themes, and even animations. Let's start with something really fun, widgets. Widgets in KDE Plasma are like little interactive tools you can place anywhere on the desktop or panel. To add one, just right click on your desktop and choose add widgets. You'll get a whole library from simple things like clocks and sticky notes to more advanced ones like weather, system monitors, media controls and even a timer. For example, I've added a weather widget to my desktop. It shows the current temperature and forecast at a glance and it automatically updates based on your location. And another useful one I like is the timer widget. Perfect if you want to stay productive and healthy. You can set it to remind you to take a short break every 25-45 minutes, then rest for 10 minutes before continuing work. It's such a simple idea, but when you see it sitting right there on your desktop, it's a great visual reminder to take care of yourself while you're working. And it doesn't stop there. You can also fully customize your panels right click on your panel and select enter edit mode from here you can resize your panel's height 
move it to the top, bottom or even sides of your screen and change how widgets are arranged on it. You can also create a second panel, maybe a smaller floating one at the top for quick access widgets or shortcuts. Then inside edit mode, click more options and you'll see the option for floating panel. Turn that on and now your panel detaches from the screen edges. It looks sleek, modern and gives your desktop a nice 3D feel. You can even adjust the panel width, transparency and alignment. For example, center it like a macOS dock or stretch it across the screen like Windows. Basically, you can build your desktop layout exactly how you like it. So yeah, KDE Plasma is a dream for customization lovers. You can make it look minimalist, futuristic or completely unique. Now let's talk about something everyone wonders about. System resource usage. After installing KDE Plasma on top of Linux Mint Cinnamon, I checked the memory usage when the system was just idling on the desktop. Plasma was using around 1.8 GB of RAM, which is actually pretty reasonable. Yes, it's higher than Cinnamon, which usually sits at around 1.1 GB, and even slightly higher than Ubuntu's GNOME desktop. But still, that's not bad at all for what you get visually and feature-wise. Most modern laptops come with a lot of RAM, and even my old 2012 laptop has 8 gigs, so this should run just fine. In other words, KDE Plasma gives you all that beauty and flexibility without being a heavy resource hog. Let's also mention Discover KDE Software Center. It's beautifully designed, fast and makes installing new apps incredibly easy. You can search for software, browse by category and even update your system from right there. All with a clean modern interface. It feels polished, lightweight and it's a great alternative to Mint Software Manager if you prefer the KDE style. If you're new to Plasma, definitely open, discover and explore. It's one of the nicest looking software centers in the Linux world. Alright, now that we've seen how it performs and what it offers out of the box, let's quickly go over some pros and cons before we wrap up. Now let's be real, this setup isn't for everyone. On the plus side, you get a fresh, modern look with insane customization. Plasma also runs surprisingly light these days. It's no longer the bloated desktop it once was. But what is the downside? Mint's tools and settings are still designed with Cinnamon and Mate in mind, so you might find a few hiccups or overlapping apps. If you ever want to go back, you can switch sessions at login or even remove Plasma altogether with these commands. So there you have it, Linux Mint Cinnamon Transform with KDE Plasma. It's not the official Mint KDE edition, but it's a fun way to blend stability and style. I've tried to make this video as complete as possible, but of course, if I would have covered everything, it would be a two hour long video. So if I have missed something, let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you would like to switch to KDE Plasma or stay with Cinnamon. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channels for more Linux content and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you want to know how to add and remove other desktop environments such as Mate, Cinnamon or XFCE, you can check out my other video where I show how to add them or remove them if you need to. And if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel, you can always use super thanks or simply buy me a coffee. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.